2024, we are with the coach Jesse Marsh of Canada. Before the start, please, it's not allowed to broadcasting or record with cell phone or any dispositive. Remember, you can download the press conference in the QR code. To ask, please raise your hand and wait the microphone. Introduce with your name and media. Hi, um, Coach Maria Fernanda Alonso from Univision. I'm wondering, what was the key this night? Um, there's a lot of things. Um, we've been building um, fitness, belief, the playing style, and the aggression to play the way we want to play. And I thought that we took Venezuela to the limit, right? And, and it's a good team, and it's, a, it's an athletic team. But our team speed and our athleticism, I think that's our goal, is to try to push teams to, to their limit and see if they can, they can manage us. Um, so I think in the end, committing to the way we want to play, pushing ourselves physically, and then you know at the end you saw how strong the team is united, even in the penalties, the way that the keeper and the shooter every time exchange and the, the unity that the group has is amazing. So there's, it's, it's not one thing, it's almost everything, but certainly our ability to push the game physically is, is what's making us uh, successful right now. Oliver Platt, one soccer. Uh, Jesse, congratulations. Uh, it will be one month tomorrow since your first game against the Netherlands. What do you know about this team now that you didn't know then? Yeah, I mean, all the things that I, I know about them now, I sensed back then, you know, which is their commitment, their desire, their uh, willingness to learn. Um, but all of that, I think, has led to bigger and bigger belief and self-confidence. And, and, you know, I mean, it, it was a pretty, again, I think the last two games, it, people will talk about should we score more goals or whatever, but, uh, and we should score more goals, but, but those are two pretty, pretty strong performances against very good opponents. And, you know, there was dialogue out there about being up a man, about not scoring enough goals, but you can see that this team is building. And uh, I think now on the back of two really strong performances, we have an incredible task at, uh, in a semifinal to play against the best team in the world. So we're excited, but, um, you know, again, I said this before, we're, we're excited but not satisfied. Joshua Cloak, The Athletic. Uh, Jesse, after this win, do you think this team gets enough respect? Probably not. Um, but that'll take time. You know, I think... Respect comes in a lot of different ways, but the best way to earn respect is to win matches and to play well when you win matches. So it's really a draw, <laughs> which is incredible to say, because we were the better team. We deserved to win that match, you know? And so the penalties are always can go. It's, a, it's almost a flip of a coin, but we were the better team on the day. So I think we deserved it. Hello, here, uh, congratulations, congratulations for going to the next phase. Um, you are already went in a match, a tough match against Argentina. Uh, so now you're going to be against them again. What would you change to try to win the game? Well, we've got to keep better track of Messi. We let him get out on the run too much out in free space. We had a couple moments tonight where we lost track of some of their attackers. That will be incredibly important. Um, look, I watched, we all watched the game last night. The pitch was terrible. Um, and, and Argentina had a real battle on their hands with Ecuador. Um, I mean, our respect for them and the way they play and their, their quality of players and the job that the coach has done, we're, we're all, um, wa we've been watching them throughout this tournament and we were proud of the performance that we put together, but we know that it's going to take so much more to give ourselves a chance, but we're excited about where we are in our development and that we have earned the right to give it another shot. Um, and we'll treat it that way. We'll be positive. We'll be aggressive. We're not going to sit back and just try to defend. We're going to try to play the way we want to play and, and then, you know, see if it can hold up. So, um, yeah, what, a, what, a, what, a, what an incredible challenge for us. Hola, Jesse. Buenas noches. Bastian Guiñez Escobar. Oh. Sí. Ah, sí. Bastián Guiñez Escobar para Independencia Hispana de Selección. Yo le pregunté el día de ayer por la posibilidad de los penales, que fue donde llegó esta serie, pero usted también lo decía en sus respuestas, Canadá tuvo bastantes oportunidades, eh, jugó mejor el partido. 
eh, ¿qué está faltando para que lleguen esos goles de todas esas oportunidades perdidas? Ya que contra un rival de mayor jerarquía como lo de Argentina, las posibilidades no van a ser tantas. Yes. Um, look, the, the, the level of these games are high. And <clears throat> for our team as a unit, we're being tested and challenged. And, and, and so, yeah, we fall short in some quality moments to f finalize last plays. But all the ideas are good. And the commitment to the tactics, uh, I think, is what's making us good. And we're pushing really good opponents to their, to their level. So, of course... You know, we could finish, you know, the first thing Kyle Aaron says when I take him off the pitches, we should be up, we should have been up three nil before they even had a chance to score. Um, and, and look, I even, I, I, in front of the team, I took, I took the, the responsibility for the, the goal we gave Venezuela because I'm challenging Max to be very aggressive off his line. And so as soon as it went in, I, went, I looked at the staff and I said, that's on me. But I thought our team responded at 1-1. One, one. We got better. We got stronger. We pushed the game. We were a little unlucky not to go up 2-1. And then we stayed strong for the, for the penalty shootout. Now, yeah, you're right. Argentina will have to be the best game that we could possibly play. And it still might not be enough. But whatever. We're going we're gonna to go for it. We're going to uh, gather ourselves. We're going to physically recharge and regenerate. And we're going to... Go for the game of our lives, and we'll be excited for it, and we won't back down. Hi, Jesse. John Arnold with the Getting CONCACAF newsletter. I wanted to ask about your emotion, your feeling in two moments. One negative, you just mentioned conceding. You said you take that on yourself, but what were you feeling in that moment? What did you kind of think? And secondly, seeing Kona convert the final shot, young player, a guy who you brought on somewhat late. I know he's had more minutes in the tournament, but yeah. in a bench role in the last two games, what was that like to see him step up and do it? Yeah, look... Um, when we got scored on, I just wanted the team to stay strong and respond, and they did. Would have been easy for a young team to fold at that moment, but we didn't. We got better. And then, um, you know, Ishmael, I actually, so I put Ishmael on the pitch. Uh, you know, uh, we know how, how talented he is. Um, we're, we're working with his overall game and his tactical understanding, but he's such a big talent. And we're going to develop him, and I know that Marseille will develop him as, as time goes on here. And by 2026, he's going to be a fantastic player, and I believe in him entirely. And I heard some of the guys saying afterwards I should have had him sh shoot earlier because he's got ice in his veins. And, you know, um, they were right. They were right. I probably should have had him shoot earlier. But when we needed him, he, he stepped up, and he did it for the team. He did it for the guys, and, and it was an incredible moment for him and an incredible moment for us. Two quick ones. First of all, Sidney Crosby in the locker room. Yeah. What, what was that like? Yeah, it was cool. Um, you know, I, I, yeah, it was really cool. He sp I had him speak to the team. He was amazing. He said he loved being here, and the penalty shootout was amazing. And I mean, incredible, right? What a what a legend to have on our side. So this is this is important for us in 2026. We want to feel the the power of the entire nation, right? So. Um, I was asking if Wayne Gretzky was around or anyone else, but you know, for now, that was pretty amazing to have Sidney Crosby there. Okay, again, big picture. You've coached a lot of teams. I think a lot of Canadians are probably going to be watching you against Argentina for the first time. Compared to all the teams that you've coached in the past, what makes this team special? Well, the, uh, they're very, it's a very athletic team. It's a very fast team, and, and I've tried to build in the right kind of aggression for them to go after uh, opponents, to go after big games, and to believe in how we're building this. And their commitment to try to learn, their belief in what I'm doing with them is very, very high. You know, I don't know if it's the highest of anyone I worked with because the, all the teams that I've worked with have been very committed, but they're capable because they're athletic, because they're strong, because they're young. Um, so, you know, we've seen an incredibly fast learning curve, but it's because they're excited about doing playing this way and they're excited about what we're trying to achieve together. So, um, yeah, I, I put a lot of it on them and their, their, their willingness to adapt and learn and grow. Scott Dixon with the AP, you just mentioned that a lot of Canadians might be watching for the first time in the next one. 
How big a moment is this just mm -hmm. overall for Canadian soccer? You know, when you're in these moments, I, I've been at different places at different times, and it's always hard to have your finger on the pulse of exactly what's going on back home. But we've heard enough about the numbers of people watching. We've heard about the the, the parties at bars and and... You know, and again, I, I, I know that when you have these moments, the key is to stay focused and, and capture the energy around the team. And we've done that. We've, there hasn't, in, inside the group, there hasn't been an overexcitement. There's been focus and concentration and desire to keep going. And so, you know, uh, we know that each task gets a little bit tougher, um, but I wouldn't count these guys out. You know, I think that they've shown that they can uh, throw punches with the best. And that's what our goal will be for Tuesday. Um, hi, Jesse. Albert Rader of the Spanish News Service. Um, the Canadian fans were very alone today in the stadium. Do you expect more Canadian fans in New York? It's closer to the border, um, easier to, to travel there. Well, <clears throat> um, yeah, I've, we've played in six away matches since I've been the coach. Um, I'm eager to get back in Canada and, and play some matches in front of our home fans. Yeah, I'm hopeful that New York, we will have a bigger presence and that the energy is building back home. Um, but we're also playing Argentina and Messi, right? And I, I think if every football fan in the world probably has their own team and then their second team is probably Argentina and Messi. <laughs> um, it'd be nice to also, yeah, I mean, but look, we're, we're, we're going we're gonna to try to keep making our country proud and capture the moment in all the best ways and then use it to springboard ourselves into what we want to be for 2026. Hi, Ooh, Melanie Anzide with The Athletic. Hi, Hi. Um, You know, you just talked about, you know, you've had so many away games so, and in this tournament so far. But at MetLife, you're kind of going home to a market that you're familiar with and you have history there. Yeah. Is there a sense of comfort for you there? And how does that translate maybe to helping out your team? Yes. Um, the stadium, I've not, you know, I coached once as a, um, an assistant coach at the old Meadowlands and we played, uh, well, actually twice as an assistant coach. We played Argentina um, and Brazil. Um, the area, obviously, I know a lot of the people. It's such a strong football part of the United States. Uh, I hope that we can gather some supporters uh, while we're there, like we just spoke about. But in the end, it's, this is all about our team and just trying to help them continue to push and, and develop and honor the work that they do every day. So, um, you know, New York is, uh, the, I don't know if they call it MetLife Stadium or what they call it, the Meadowlands, or, but this is a big stage. This is a big stage, and against Argentina in the semifinals of Copa America is a big stage, and I know we'll be ready for it. You know, will it be enough on the day? We'll see, but but we'll we'll be excited and we'll be ready for a big challenge. Okay, thank Gracias. you and good night.